In this video, we're going to discuss the possibility to see the return of the Quebec Nordiques to the NHL and how that might happen. And that's coming up next. Hey everyone, what is going on? Welcome back to yet another video here at Top Shelf Hockey. We review and analyze all 31 teams on this channel with an unbiased opinion. So if you're a huge hockey fan, consider hitting that subscribe button now so you don't miss any future videos. Alright, diving into today's content, we're discussing could the Quebec Nordiques make their way back to the NHL? I know personally I'd love to see it. I know there's lots of hockey fans, not only in the province of Quebec and the Quebec City area, but throughout the country of Canada. Uh, we'd love, love to see this happen for sure. Now the main way this is going to happen is another NHL franchise is going to be having to look to relocate either through their existing ownership or by somebody coming in to buy the team, hopefully like the Quebec uh, group, and moving them there to Quebec City. Obviously there are some struggling franchises. Whether or not the NHL or Gary Bettman wants to admit this publicly, there's obviously an attendance issue in a few places and there's some cities that need new arenas. So clearly, there are a handful of teams with a potential issue. Not to say that they're all going to end up relocating, but the odds of at least one of them making their way to Quebec, I think are pretty good. So let's take a look at the options, and I'll give you my thoughts. The most likely scenario, in my opinion, as I've covered in another video, which I'll link up here, is the Carolina Hurricanes. Clearly, the Camarnos group wants out of Carolina. The team has been for sale. They do have a pending offer, which looks like it's going to be falling through. And, well, they need to go somewhere. I just don't see another group coming along to buy this team and leaving them in, in the Carolina area. It just doesn't make any sense. They just can't draw a good crowd. Now, there's a combination of reasons. One of them is that they personally, they just haven't put a good product on the ice in a long time. Really since 2006. Now, we're coming up on 11, 12 years since we've really seen good, solid hockey in Carolina. Obviously, you know, that's a long stretch of time for fans to be getting antsy for winning hockey and especially in not the greatest, you know, market that would kind of still fall into that non-traditional market. I know there's a lot of markets in the United States that are kind of, we still kind of consider non-traditional, which are slowly becoming traditional and have, have seen a lot of success, but it hasn't worked everywhere and this is a prime example. Obviously, the Camarillos group moved the team out of the Hartford area down to Carolina and just... Personally, it just hasn't worked. Their latest game against the Florida Panthers last night drew barely 8,000 fans. Really, when you take a look at the end of the game and you look around as the, the teams are going off, there's empty seats everywhere. A lot of times in the NHL and other professional sports, especially in cities where the, the uh, ticket sales and attendance are struggling, the attendance that they announce generally isn't what you see. If you've been to any of these games or you've watched them closely on television, You'll notice that sometimes they announce the crowds and you just can't help us scratch your head going, what? That doesn't make any sense. They can barely get this arena half full most nights. And a lot of times what happens too is you end up in a situation where there's a lot of corporate places giving away tickets, trying to help the team. Uh, either the, the, uh, the franchise themselves gives them away to businesses to do giveaways, whatnot, and people don't show up. So yes, tickets might have been sold, and I stress sold lightly because a lot of times they're giveaways. But at the end of the day, People just aren't going to this game. You know, there's, there could be a lot of reasons for that. I don't personally don't have a lot of info on the actual economics of the area and, and if things are thriving or struggling or whatnot. But at the end of the day, that doesn't matter. If this team is uh, struggling and they can't draw a decent crowd and they can't put a good product on the ice, then the NHL needs to seriously consider moving them to a hungry place like Quebec. Quebec's already got the arena in place. They have all kinds of fans dying to get this game back there. So they need to seriously look at making this happen. Now there are some other teams as well in my opinion that are in trouble to a degree and really even though it hasn't publicly been discussed a whole lot that I've seen need to really really take a long look at maybe relocating and if existing ownership groups don't want to consider that on option then they need to really give their head a shake or can sell the team to another uh, group who can properly run the, the club. If you look at the Florida Panthers they've struggled to put a good product on the ice, they've struggled to draw crowds as well. I mean, they're really not much better than the Hurricanes when it comes to attendance. I mean, I don't know how many times I've seen Florida Panther hockey games and then, you know, even the other a couple seasons ago when they were winning and they uh, finished, I believe they finished first in the Atlantic Division, they still couldn't draw a crowd. 
for a good chunk of the season. They had a winning product, they were in first place, and people still can't come. So it's not just the fact that these teams haven't had a lot of success, it doesn't really seem to matter. Obviously the area just doesn't seem to be a good hockey spot, and at some point in time the NHL has to just say, listen, it's not working and move on. But as we all know, Gary Bettman's a very stubborn man, and he doesn't want to admit failure in markets that he was big on getting teams to go to in the first place. Now another option if you look at the Arizona Coyotes, the Coyotes still don't have long term plans in place and they're struggling like no other team we've ever seen. They have, every time you think they're going to be better than the year before, they just seem to find ways to not get better and this year they've proven that they can actually get worse, believe that or not. So either way, look at the Coyotes, but I don't see that happening. If the Coyotes do end up ever moving out of Arizona, I think that the NHL will find a way to keep them in the Western area. Especially if, if you watch my other video that I just put out today, you'll see that, um, in my opinion, I think that the next NHL expansion area is probably going to be Seattle, which would even out the conferences. So for Quebec to get a team, I think the most likely scenario is that it's another Eastern Conference team that moves to Quebec. So if the Coyotes do end up in a situation where they relocate, I wouldn't be surprised to see them remain in the West. Maybe Kansas City might be an option. Maybe Houston might be an option. Uh, I know that, that area as well as it seems to be a good area for hockey to, to consider getting a franchise as well. Now the last two options I'm going to bring up here are probably both teams are currently trying to figure out long-term plans with a new arena. Now I'm not sure that either one of these would be a, a high likelihood to move to Quebec. I think one of them has a better chance than the other. But obviously it's the Calgary Flames and the New York Islanders. We've seen a lot of a public uh, battles between the city of Calgary, team ownership, and you know a lot of uh, battle back and forth on whether or not that team can get a new arena done and stay in Calgary. Now personally, just like I mentioned about the Coyotes, I really don't think they would move east if they ever did move. And personally, I just I don't see them moving. I think they'll get something figured out in Calgary. Doesn't make sense. Overall, the, the other parts of the aspects of the game for them are going well. They've got a pretty good young team, so they have a good product on the ice. They do get good fan support. That's not the issue longer term. So I think Calgary will, will find a way to keep the Flames, and that would just be a shame, in my opinion, if they were to, to have to end up moving. But if, like I said about the Arizona, if they, if they ever did, I think the NHL would more than likely find a way to keep them west. The other option uh, is the New York Islanders, who are obviously trying to figure out long-term arena plans. Obviously, a plane at Barclays just doesn't really seem to work. They are having attendance issues there. Um, doesn't make sense for them to go back to the island with the Nassau Coliseum as well. They need a longer term plan. Now there is some options in place there and I know that their ownership group seems to be a little bit closer than, uh, than Calgary on a long term plan. So there's a pretty good chance they go nowhere and do find a new home and end up staying there long term. I don't think that uh, they're as likely, but you never know. If that arena deal falls through and they wind up in a situation where they don't know what else to do, you just never know. Ownership might come knocking to Quebec, but at the same time though, they're not a team that really needs to be sold either, so I also think they're less likely for that reason. Um, but you never know in today's world, sometimes things uh, come up as surprises, but uh, obviously I'd, I'd love to see a team make its way back to Quebec City, and I just wanted to go over some options today on what I thought was most likely. So to do a quick recap here, I think the Carolina Hurricanes, as well as the Florida Panthers, are struggling mighty with attendance. I don't understand why Quebec City can't seem to make a, get a team in place here. One of those groups, I think, will eventually end up in Quebec City. Hard to say exactly when. It's one of those situations I think we might, just might end up seeing like what happened with Winnipeg. You know, the Winnipeg Jets uh, franchise came together fairly quick. Um, you know, once the Thrashers were, uh, everything happened in Atlanta, you know, that, was, that wasn't a long-term drawn-out process. So you, you just never know. I think Quebec eventually will get that team back. If you like this video, make sure you smash that like button. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button on the middle of your screen so you don't miss any future videos. And keep watching Top Shelf Hawk.